Welcome, everybody, to Larry's Fountain Pens. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Bauer 68 Fountain Pen. It's a Chinese-made pen, and uh, maybe there's some of you that aren't familiar with this pen, but I'm sure that a lot of you are. Maybe you even have this one in your pen collection. But nevertheless, here we go. So, here is the pen. It's red lacquer pen, all in gold plated trim. It's got a pull off cap and it does post. You'll hear a little kind of jingling in there but it looks like it's going to stay on there pretty good but you'll you'll hear it rattling a little bit there uh, the uh, the grip is an interesting grip it uh, has some kind of pattern in the grip it's not slippery whatsoever and your finger should be uh, well in range with the grip. So that should be fine with no problems. Enough room in the grip for your fingers. Uh, there's not really much of a step down because it's all fitted into the barrel, which unscrews. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, it's got a gold-plated ring band at the bottom of this barrel. And you can see it when you take the cap off. On the cap itself, it has a gold-plated band around it with some decorations in there in black. It's, it's a good-looking decorations. I like the black and the gold-plated look with the red lacquer. It, it's got a good look to it. Uh, in the description box, it says uh, gold trim, but you know and I know that this isn't gold trim. <laughs> so anyway, uh, on top of the cap, you've got just a gold-plated little band around there, and the clip attaches on to that. And the clip is really tough, hard. So, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, clip it in your pocket. Let me show you real quick. Okay, if you're just going to do this, that's not going to happen. You have to hold your pocket and kind of press down on it with some pressure and it'll work that way. Come off, no problem with pressure. But... It's going to take some pressure. It's just not going to go on with ease. Okay? Uh, what else? So really not a whole lot going on, but the red lacquer is really a, a nice look with the pen, like I just said, with the uh, gold-plated band around it and the, the accent of the gold-plated clip and the trim that it has. Pull the cap off post it, show you that. Talk about the nib for a minute here. It's a small nib. It's a medium sized nib. Uh, a two-tone nib. And uh, unscrew it and you have your converter it comes with. That's a good thing. I'm glad to see that. And uh, 
it uh, will also use the standard international ink cartridges as well. So that's uh, another plus. And also it accepts the Rosetta Explorer converters. Interesting. Chinese made pen. And I'll have the dimensions of the pen up on the screen. So you can be looking for that. Let me do some comparisons real quick for you. Okay. And here is uh, the Bauer against the Jin Hao. 599. And against the ladder, the Jin Hao ladder. Okay. This is about the same length as the Bauer. The uh, Jin Hao 599 is a little bit girthier than the Bauer. It's got more of a slender look, but not as slim or thin as the Jin Hao ladder. And just for the heck of it, Quaker's board right there. Not as long. And the Kuwaiko Sports, it's a, a little bit girthier than the Bauer. Talking about the barrel part. Here's an interesting one. Pilot Metropolitan. They're almost about the same length with the Bauer, just a hair bit longer than the Metropolitan. And they're just about the same size as thickness. Maybe the Bauer might be a little bit more slimmer than the Metropolitan. And the nib on this Metropolitan compared to the Bauer, as you can see right here, is a little bit bigger. Wouldn't you say the Metropolitan? It's a little bit bigger than the Bauer. That looks small. Now that is a medium nib on the Bauer, they say. But, We'll do a writing sample and we'll know a little bit more about it. And we got a few more to match up. Here is the Coughlin Duograph. About the same length as the Bauer, but the Duograph is much girthier than the Bauer by a long shot. Great pen. Love this pen. I had to throw that in there, sorry. And here's an interesting one. Fountain Pen Revolution. Here's one of their pens against the Bauer. It's a tad longer than their demo. But almost about the same girth. Maybe the Bauer is a little bit girthier than the Fountain Pen Revolution pen. These are good pens. I just finished using it up. Got to wash it out here in a minute. So, that is the Bauer 68. So, what do you say we do a writing sample next, okay? Alrighty, here we go. I've just inked it up with some uh, Waterman red ink. I'm just getting some of the paper out of the uh, grip for a minute here. The Audacious red ink by Waterman. I love the bottles of the Waterman, by the way. All right, now, first time this pen's ever been inked up. So I, like you, 
do not know how it's going to write. So let's do this together. Are you ready? Here we go. Ta-da! The Bower 68. Here we go. Jumps. I didn't forget the S. And you're so right. One of my viewers let me know that I've been forgetting to do the S all this time. So thank you for letting me know that. I appreciate that. Well, for what it's worth, I didn't think it was going to write this well. And the pen wrote very well. Yes, I'm impressed with it. That's some fast writing. No problem. And some S's. Any upside down? Yes, it does. And I must say, it writes very well. This is a medium nib. In the description box, it was saying that uh, it seems like it was writing more for fine nib. Well, I disagree with that. I think it does just fine as a medium. And uh, and it writes very well upside down. If you want to get uh, that uh, fine line going, you can. This is upside down still. Doing fine with the ink flow, as you can see. Yes, I am totally impressed. I did not think that this Bauer fountain pen was going to do as well as it's doing. So you never want to count a pen out until you actually get to use the pen. Test for wetness. Looks like it's going to be some wet there. It's got some wetness. Wow. And you all know me by now. I love wet nib, right? That thing's still wet. I'm using the Rhodia dot paper. Still wet. So. What do you think about this pen. Pretty nice looking pen, would you think? Got that red lacquer going on with the uh, gold plated metal work with it. Sharp looking pen. And writes extremely well. I am totally surprised about that. I wasn't expecting this pen to write as well as it just did. You saw it. I saw it. We both saw it for the first time. Never has been inked up. And I've had this pen for around two years, believe it or not. So I thought it was about time to review the pen. So I have to give the pen a thumbs up. But... The clip, I don't like. It's really tough to pull out there to get it on your shirt. That's that's the only thing, is the clip. But, that's going to take care of this episode. And I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, having me into your home. And thank you for joining me once again. Uh, with another video. Uh, so, 
as always, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, do that now, please. That way you'll be notified of any upcoming videos. And uh, leave some comments below. Tell me what you think about the pen. If you like it, if you don't like it, what do you like about the pen? What do you not like about the pen? So, do you have one like this? Share with me and the other viewers. Let us know how you feel about the Bauer 68. All right, be safe, everybody, and don't text and drive. I'll talk to you later.